Happy Sunday, guys. We are going to make two videos today. First one I'm going to make is just a real simple. I'm going to do a lemon pepper burger patty in the Ninja Foodie for my husband for lunch. So I have my meat thawing. We're going to do that. And then I'm going to do some kind of Asian dish. That'll be a separate video. You'll see them both today. But anyways, I'm going to show you how to make the best juicy burger in the Ninja Foodie. Um, it can be keto friendly because if you don't put it on bread, it is still keto. So I'm going to get that seasoned up. I'll show you how I do that. And I make a huge half pound burger patty. We're going to cook it in our Ninja Foodie. It's just going to go real quick and simple. Easy cleanup. So I'll be back with you just shortly when we get started mixing up our burger. Alright, so I have my scale. I have my bowl. I'm going to turn my scale on. And I'm going to put this. And we need to zero them out. So, there we go. Because I have this in a bigger bag. So we're trying to get a half a pound of hamburger meat out of this bag. And we're going to get started. Okay. So... Hold on, we want this on pounds. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's a half a pound. So we'll get this started. Okay guys, took a break. I had to go watch uh, the world of dance. Super awesome. All right, so I am going to add some salt. We're going to add some pepper. And I used to just season the outside of my hamburger patties until I realized, like, these are so much better when you actually season the meat before you make the patty. So just a little bit of garlic and onion powder. Ooh, okay. Apparently, we wanted a lot of onion powder. This is the star of the show. We just have some Adam's lemon pepper seasoning. And we use a lot of this. So we're just gonna use our tools. We're gonna mix this up really good. Oh, we don't make a complete mess in the process. Just like mix all those seasonings in. And then when I make the patty, I'll put a little extra lemon pepper on the outside. So it'll be just extra lemony peppery. Here we go. Our plate. I just need it nice, tight, firm patty to make this work out right because I want it to fall through the grates. And I push it about a half an inch thick, maybe. Tuck in the little edges, make it nice and pretty. So now we are going to go ahead and close the lid, turn on our Ninja Foodie, and put it on broil. And we're going to leave, put it on 15 minutes, but we're going to let this warm up for a few. So we're not going to cook the patty the full 15 minutes, but we're going to, I mean, we may, let's just keep checking it, but um, kind of just depends on how thick I made it that day, but it usually runs between 10 and 12 minutes. Um, it depends also how well done you like your burger. My husband likes his burger more done than not. So let's get all these seasons picked up. Um, I'll pop back in. Um, oh yeah, we're going to add our little extra. I'm just going to pat that in. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a flip. Get it all released from the plate. Give it a flip over. And then do a little more lemon pepper on the other side. So we can get that. Great, I'm gonna press that in too. Okay, we'll be back once it's warmed up. Hey right, guys, okay, let's see. We have six minutes left, so we've cooked this for six minutes and it's looking absolutely fabulous. And you can see how little juice is in the bottom of this pan because it is holding all of that juice inside of this burger. So it is going to be delicious. So we're gonna let this go the next six minutes. 
Our taco meat is brown over here in the background. I'm gonna season that up. seconds to done look at that burger wow still very very little liquid in the bottom which means this thing has all of the flavor inside of it so I'm gonna let it go that last 30 seconds though because I can see a little still a little bit of juice that Sid likes his burger well done so this I would take out right now probably would have taken out about a minute ago but not my burger so let's go oh yeah taco meat's done getting ready to tuck wear that up Okay, the timer has stopped. I'm gonna leave this with the lid on, or lid closed. I'm not gonna open it and look at it again. I'm gonna leave it in here warm and just let it sit. And that's gonna be the time that, you know, you normally let, let your burger rest. So we're gonna let this rest but in here with the closed lid with the heat. Now, if you're concerned about doneness and you don't want it too well done, go ahead and open it up, take it out. But we like to just let it sit in here and enjoy its heat. Got my Taco Tuesday Tupperware, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna box that up and we will be ready to go. Okay, hey guys, I've let this sit through one more uh, performance on the world of dance because I'm having a good time with that. And look at this beautiful, perfectly cooked burger patty. See how little drippings there were from the burger, meaning all that juice is inside of it. If you like a big juicy burger, this is for you. You can also, if you like your cheese like melted onto, yeah, I know I have a mess in the background guys, sorry, I'm cooking my own thing. Um, if you like your patty with melted cheese and you're gonna eat it right away, just put like a big slice of cheddar or whatever you want on there, some provolone, and just like give it 30 seconds with the, with the lid. I mean, check it, it may not even need the whole 30 if it's still really warm, so that was a good way to get your cheese all bubbly, melty, and delicious. But since Sid, Sid is taking this for lunch, we don't want to put the cheese on it until tomorrow when he's ready to eat, so I'll get this packed up for his lunch for tomorrow, and I will see you guys. In the next video so i'm going to be making another video here shortly if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy these kind of recipes i do make keto i do ninja foodie i do all kinds of cooking batch cooking prep cooking all those things i'm going to do my grocery haul my monthly meal plans <clears throat> gotta get some of that stuff put together just got my new camera my new editing software so we're starting to make progress so if you follow me on Instagram, you know that yesterday I made some stir fry. I did a rice version, a Kali rice version of this this Asian seasoned pork. It was so delicious. It turned out really good. So I did not film it, however, I did photograph it. So it's on my Instagram page. So I may go ahead and remake the cauliflower instead of pork. I'm going to use chicken. I'm still debating, but I am going to go finish watching my world dance and big thumbs up, like, and subscribe, all the things. See you in the next video.